Hi, it's Phil from Delphi Technologies. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing the different connectors available for yours or your customer's electric vehicles. There are four types of connectors when charging your electric vehicle. Type one, type two, CCS and shadow mode. Type one and type two are generally used for slow charging your vehicle from an AC power source. And CCS and shadow mode are used when charging your vehicle quickly from a DC power source. Traditionally, type one, and Chadamo were used in Asian application vehicles, whilst European application vehicles stuck with the standard of CCS and Type 2 in the majority of new vehicles. Now, it is worth noting that there are some adapters on the market depending on what vehicle you have. For example, if you have an older Type 1 vehicle and your charging plug on your house is a Type 2, then you can get a simple Type 2 to Type 1 adapter. If you own a legacy Tesla vehicle, that is model S and X, then there are fast charge adapters, enabling your original Type 2 Tesla car to charge from either CCS or Shadamo. Now, as always, there are exceptions to the rule. I mentioned before that traditionally we would charge slowly from an AC power source using a Type 2, but one of the first electric vehicles to market was the Renault Zoe. That vehicle used the Type 2 connector to fast charge from an AC power source, so a little bit different. But if you buy a modern Renault Zoe, they've made the switch over to traditional CCS. The other exception is Tesla. They would use a proprietary Type 2 connector to DC fast charge. It was one of the only vehicles on the market that you could charge from AC and DC through the same connector. Let's take a little bit more look in detail at the Type 2 connector. The top two pins here are for data communication between the charger and the car. The center three pins is where we can transfer the electricity and the bottom two pins, which you'll notice are missing in this connector, means that this connector is not capable of three phase charging, only single phase charging through the center three pins. Let me show you a few examples of these connectors on the vehicle. Now the vehicle we have here is a 2019 Nissan Leaf. Let's take a closer look at some of the connectors. On this vehicle, we have a Type 2 and a Shadow Mode. Now, if you remember earlier, we mentioned that generally most Asian application vehicles would have had a Type 1 and Shadow Mode, and most European would have had a Type 2 and CCS. When the vehicle was first launched, it did exactly have that. It had a Type 1 and Shadow Mode, but they realized for the European market, they really need to convert the vehicle. So the hybrid fact is the fact that we have a Type 2, which is European spec, but they've still retained the Shadow Mode connector for fast charging. All these connectors, they may seem a little daunting, but not to worry, because on almost all new vehicles now sold in Europe, we've stuck to the CCS and Type 2 charging standard. And sometimes actually for your customers, this is where the confusion ticks in. Most people will be used to using a Type 2 connector to charge in their car for 80, 90% of the time. And when they show up at a fast charger, they often are presented with three connectors, Type 2, CCS, and Chadamo. Mistakenly, they will then pick the Type 2 connector, which is designed for that Renault as we discussed earlier, and plug it into their vehicle expecting it to fast charge. So it's really important that if you have any customers complain that their vehicle isn't charging correctly, that you make sure when they're fast charging, they are using that CCS connector. Three things to take away. The first is in Europe, we're using Type 2 and CCS connectors. The second is that Type 2 is for slow charging and CCS is for fast charging. The third is that if you have an older vehicle, don't worry, there are plenty of charging adapters available. Thanks for watching today. For more how-tos and support, follow us on social media or visit our Masters of Motion online hub. And if you'd like to continue your learning further, check out our range of expert-led courses at the Delphi Technologies Training Academy. See you next time.